previously. So that's Sean Lohan at Aberdeen, uh, but now he plays for Celtic again, and I hate him. So that's Sean Lohan at Aberdeen, uh, but now he plays for Celtic again, and I hate him. And I hate him. Yep, well, and then this happened. I also don't know how long I need to sit like this because I don't know how long the clip's going to be. As a result of that, I would like to issue a formal apology to Ryan Christie. Um, I love you, essentially, but I won't apologise for wearing a Scotland top just because. Um, yes, sir, I can boogie. boogie, boogie all the Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Newcastle United beta save on Football Manager 2021. Sorry if I'm a bit giddy, especially surrounding Ryan Christie. I love the man, I'm buzzing. Scotland have qualified for the first major tournament in my lifetime and I couldn't be happier. I'm so proud of the lads, but also I'm happy with Football Manager Ryan Christie, not just real life Ryan Christie, and I'll show you now why. Since we beat West Brom 1-0, got a couple good results. We proceeded to beat Crystal Palace... Christie scored and San Maximan scored. 2-1, perfect stuff. A 3-2 win over Everton was up next. Jamal Lewis, Christie once again and Matt Ritchie with an absolute thunder strike late on. We lost 2-1 to West Ham, but as you can see, guess who scored again? That man, Ryan Christie. And Sheffield United got absolutely gubbed and we were superb once again. I believe Ryan Christie got three assists in this game. A Juan Cruz Comar double. Didn't say his name right. Juan Cruz Comar. And Andy Carroll scored too, as well as Matt Ritchie once again. I am absolutely delighted. That is 12 points from a possible 15. And if you offered me that at the start, I would have definitely taken that. I'm happy. And now we go into the Tottenham game in good form. And not only are we in good form, but we're also sitting pretty in 11th in the league. A pretty face, a pretty league table position. I'm very, very happy. I can boogie, I'm going to reference that so much, if he scores again, I will be boogieing all night long. The team for the Tottenham game in the cup, however, is Martin Dubravka, Tenyervai, Komar keeps his place, hopefully scores more goals, that would be superb, Lascelles and Dummett, Longstaff, Longstaff in the middle of the park, Christie ahead of them with Richie, San Maxman and big Andy Carroll after his goal. He was complaining about not starting, I threw him in against Sheffield United, he scored, we've gone full Geordie with this one, Dummett and both the Longstaff brothers and then Andy Carroll were absolutely loving life. The bench is Darlow, Frimpong, Shelby, Rodrigo Vilchas there, Servi, Joe Linton and Callum Wilson drops to the bench as well. Things are underway in the Carabao Cup in the quarter final at St James's Park against Spurs. Their team looks pretty decent. Gareth Bale is playing, but we might have a chance to start off with. Sean Longstaff collects it. His brother is next to him there. Will he find him? He does use him. Matthew Ritchie, of all people. Oh, no, we've given it away, but we collect it once again. Sean Longstaff, let's go again, Newcastle. We're in the semi-final of a cup competition if we win this. It is a big if, but we've got Ryan Christie. Anything is possible. And Longstaff has shot wide there. Sean, that was. It was very, very close. That would have been our ideal start. But we come again, and here he is, that man, once again. It's Sean Longstaff. The uh, foam has just disappeared off the pitch from the referee. Christy from range. It's gone in. His shot. It's an own goal. Joe Hart has abs had an absolute calamity there. It's anyone shocked. Hey! 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 Give me a fucking ball! That is absolutely one of stuff. Ryan Christy, he was basically an assist. His shot from range off the post after a driving run from Sean Longstaff. And tell you what, we'll take that all the way to the bank. I don't care how we win it. If it goes to penalties, then we'll take it, won't we? Oh yes, we know all about that. Superb. Very, very happy. I'm boogieing. I'm boogieing all night long, baby. It could go very long. Uh, it could go very wrong. That's what I was trying to say. Got confused. I had Sean Longstaff in my head. I was going to make a joke. Could go very... Boogieing all night long, staff. There we go. It, it came to me eventually. And we have a throw in. We've given it away, though. And it's not a team you want to give the ball away to. Hugh Minson. Good tackle from Yedvai, but Winks collects. And Gareth Bale. Straight at Dubravka. He's absolutely rubbish. Who is this guy, Bale? T rubbish is what he is. That's what I'm telling you. We're going for it, lads. We're going for it. We've been absolutely all over them. They've had one shot on target. That Gareth Bale shot in the whole of the first half. We've had 17 shots, 18 on target. But they're about to score, I guarantee it. It's Aurier, he puts it in, Lascelles heads clear, or are we going to score and get a second goal before half time? We found a tactic that works. It's the gig and press, it's been adjusted very, very slightly, and 
Oh my word, I, thought, I got really excited there. But Heung-Min comes away with it. And Vinicius is in behind. Vinicius, sorry. He's hit the post though. But thankfully it's not at the back of our keeper and gone in. It comes comes clear. But Yeregion throws it. It's headed clear by Tin Yedvai. Who combines with Carroll and goes long to absolutely nobody. That is a not what you want. And he's in behind Dahlberg. Holberg, sorry, not Dahlberg. Another great save by uh, Dubravka, we're holding on a bit towards the second end of the first half there. We go into the second half leading though, and I'm delighted about it. Let's build on it and not throw this away. It's very possible that we will. We all know that. Second half is underway. You'll be pleased to know the bed is in position. The mattress isn't here, so that's a bit of a palava. The suppliers are not open till Monday, and the people who are supposed to be selling it to us just don't have one so that's ideal but Christie's put it in but there's no water spillages so we're improving we're sort of halfway there now I shouldn't have jinxed it if we score another goal I'll possibly just spill me pints of water out all over the shop uh, it's dire now not Kieran uh, it's out to Sean Longstaff no Matty Longstaff it's, it's so confused it said M there how did I take that as Sean here he is now though he goes wide to Alan San Maxicans oh yeah so Paul Dummett overlapping marauding up the left hand side as Richie heads over that would have been too good to be true let's be honest Paul Dummett the marauding left fullback what a fella he is he is like the Andy Considine of Newcastle and I love him so so much but not as much as Mr. I Can Boogie Andy Considine <laughs> I'm sure that's understandable. But we've got... Here he is, though. Paul Dummett. He gives it away. Mm, Constantine would never let me just tell you that much. But Longstaff out wide. Now, via Lascelles to some Maxman, who cuts inside and ruins what I was just about to say. Bergwijn, all the way back to Joe Hart, who goes long. Unfortunately, Gareth Bale controls that. He's a bit good, this guy. And I thought he was a bit rubbish, but you never, ever know, do you? But here is our... Better version of him, San Maximan. It's with Carroll now. You should need to be in between the posts, mate, ideally. Long staff from range, left footed over the bar though, but with 20 minutes to go, I'm about to make a change. Andy Carroll does come off for Callum Wilson on the advanced forward roll, just hoping to pin them back a bit more and stop them coming out so much at us in the last remaining minutes of the game. I mean, there is over 15 minutes of the game to go, but you know what I mean, don't you? And we'll use the waste timing shit house substitutions later on, but Matt Ritchie has a free kick. He goes in, and Callum Wilson, super sub. I am an absolute genius. 2-0, we're going into the Carabao Cup semi-finals. This is earlier than I ever thought we'd imagine. Uh, could have jinxed it possibly, let's be honest. I don't think I'm in focus, but who cares? Callum Wilson has scored. Matt Ritchie, superb says, they're buzzing at the back, they're boogie. And did you see that? I'll replay it. Boogie and all night long. But here we go. Matty Longstaff fires it in. And Wilson heads over. Wilson, um, enough of that. More changes. Ryan Christie playing a well once again. Who's shocked? But he's a bit tired, so John Joe Shelby comes on. Bit of fresh legs in the middle of the park. Nothing stupid now, Newcastle. Do not throw it away. And a clean sheet would be amazing too. We'll take off San Maximan now as well. We'll do it via this version. Why not? Let's just get excited, I guess. Uh, Vilchaz coming on. We're going wild. Absolute party time. Five minutes to go. See it out. No more highlights, please. Absolute domination. 33 shots. 13 on target. So I think they're four, maybe it said. Uh, I could be making it up. Who knows? We'll see at the end of the game. But Hoybjerg goes long. No, he doesn't go long. He goes short to Bergwijn. I'm just all over the shop. Uh, Yedvai now. Como out from the back. I'm going to see another goal then. Let's have it. Come on then, Callum Wilson. Finish it off, mate. He does. 3 0. You see that exuding confidence there from the touchline? Goes on to the pitch. Eighth goal of the season for Callum Wilson. 3 0 in the Carabao Cup quarter final. We're into a semi final and we'll do the draw after as well. We'll see who we get. But that was a super ball in behind and cool as you like from Callum Wilson. Cool Callum for this cool Callum. Delighted. He spells his name wrong though. Two L's. Idiot. Uh, who cares though? Oh my goodness, we go again. It's Dubravka now. I've got an itchy face. I don't know what that's about. Uh, a bit disgusting. Sorry about that. He goes long and it's it's flicked on. No, no, no. No, no, no. Meet it, Paul. Well done. Cool cam and collected. That's just what you want. He exudes confidence once as well as I do. As Vilcha is on there. He goes... He's not even a right uh, left winger. I thought I was putting him on the right. Yeah, I wasn't. Oh, well. We're here now. Dumb it. In. It's now with John Longstaff. Hit it from there, Matty. Turn and hit. Turn and hit. Or yeah, yeah, Edvai. That's probably more sensible. Put it in. Another fourth goal before full time would be immaculate. Vilcha has scored his first goal from the club. The little Peruvian wonder. He's actually pretty, pretty good. And I'm delighted about that. 4-0. That is emphatic is what I would call it. Would you call it that? Let me know in the comments down below. But I'm 
absolutely over the moon with this performance. Rounded, and it wasn't a weak Spurs team at all. Bale was in there, Hugh Min Son, Reguillon starting at the back as well. Okay, Joe Hart was in goal, so we've always got a chance. But, I mean, I, I mean, he did head one into the back of his own net, didn't he? I forgot about that. Um, but look, like Winks, Aurier, Hoy Bjerg in there as well. Vinicius is in behind, though. Keep the clean sheet. We don't keep the clean sheet, but sh sh clean sheet, not the clean shit. But... I've just said that as well, so I've just ruined all of that. But who cares? 4-1. Let's not even watch it. Let's just get it done. And still it goes on. Can we just finish the game, please? I've got brown ales in the fridge. I want to get on it. Get down the quayside and get absolutely smashed. Lockdown regulations, obviously. Uh, but I don't know what it's like in Newcastle. We've scored again. Five women won. That is a good result, isn't it, Newcastle fans? Yeah, that, uh, we're familiar with that. Um, Halloween, all that good stuff. It's just passed by, uh, unfortunately. But, you know, we'll take it. Shame Kevin Nolan's not here to do the chicken dance. To chicken boogie, if you will. But here I am. What? The fuck are you doing? I am Chicken Boogie and you can't really see Chicken Boogie and that's uh, now a thing apparently. That's going to be a thing from now on. Um, if it sticks, I, I just throw enough stuff at the wall and hope that some of it will stick eventually. But that is superb. 36 shots, 16 on target, 2.85 expected goals and look at theirs. Absolutely woeful. Let's see who we get in the semi-final. Oh, who cares? Bring them all on. Let's have it. Here we go in the semi-final draw ourselves, Chelsea, Cardiff, or Birmingham, so any of the latter two would be perfect. But knowing our luck, we will get Chelsea. We got Cardiff. I will take that all the way to the bank. That is a huge, huge chance to get into the final of a cup competition. Obviously, it's Chelsea, Birmingham. So it might be Chelsea in the final, let's be honest. But if we can get there, that would be absolutely massive and a massive chance at early silverware. And I'm all about that. Our takeovers hit the rocks as well. We're still under transfer embargo. It's Christmas. The transfer window is about to open. Get it sorted either way so I can spend the 20 million in the bank, please. Messers at Ashley slash Charnley. Yes, please. Thanks. Thanks, bye. And I'll tell you what then, that is where we will leave it for today. But if this episode hits 15 likes as it goes up on Friday evening, then tomorrow on Saturday we'll get two episodes, a double upload day. The first one would be the Cardiff semi-final, see if we can get to the final. And the next one would possibly be after the transfer window, see how that goes. So 15 likes is the target goal to get those two episodes out in one day. If you fancy it, you know what to do. And if you do fancy coming back for that as well, please do smash the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. The growth has been pretty good since uh, Football Manager 2021's come out and I'm very, very happy with it. Thank you so much to all of you and thank you very, very much for watching. Take care and don't stop boogieing. <laughs>